What's up, guys? Welcome or welcome back to the Saving Men's Lives Network. Today, we're going to cover a story which is completely ridiculous about a woman in Vegas who was dragged off of a Spirit Airlines, of course, flight because she was absolutely losing her mind. In fact, the story, which is covered by the New York Post, is watch woman go absolutely nuts as she's dragged off Spirit Airlines flight in cartoonish meltdown. Now, before I get into that, I want to show you the meltdown in action so you can see with yourself. I'm going to come back and talk about it. Roll the clip. What you guys unfortunately just watched was a textbook case of main character syndrome. This is what happens when someone who's made the decision that attention focused directly on me is more important than everything else around me. See, I did a little homework on Spirit Airlines. I've never flown with them, but I wanted to know exactly how that's all set up because what kind of planes does Spirit use, I was wondering. It turns out they use the Airbus A319, which upon further review has 145 seats on board. Now, this plane was flying out of Las Vegas, one of the busiest cities in America. So I guarantee you that thing was packed tight. 150 people had to have their day ruined and their flight plans delayed because this one idiot decided she was the most important thing on this planet. Let me read from this article. It says viral footage shows the moment an unidentified woman was arrested on a Spirit Airlines plane after an over the top meltdown that rivaled Jim Carrey's contortionist performance in The Mask. A clip posted to TikTok on March 23rd showed several Las Vegas Metropolitan Police officers confronting the suspect as the plane sat on the tarmac ahead of takeoff. It wasn't known why the cops were called to arrest her, but as soon as the clip started, it became apparent that the unidentified woman was acting erratically. And that's an understatement. The bug eyed suspect, clad in a sleeveless sweater, sporting a gold necklace and a large afro, is seen resisting officers' attempts to handcuff her. I can walk out on my own. Why are you doing that? Why are you acting like I'm a rascal? She pleads. Well, it seems as if you are unwilling to comply with reasonable demands. That's why they're grabbing you. That's why they're going to place you in restraints because apparently you lack the impulse control to do it on your own. Quote, let this go. Can I do that with freedom? All I care about is freedom, she declares. As two officers are seen handcuffing her, other passengers film the spectacle. One officer tells her she's under arrest. She responds, that's fine. I've been there before. She then turns behind to look directly into a passenger's cell phone camera that is live streaming the interaction. At this point in the clip, the drama kicks into high gear as a woman tries to stand up and contorts her face wildly. I've effing been there before. This S hurts my elbow. It's hurting my wrist. She screams while gyrating her body to and fro. Quote, you're hurting me, Sheriff. You're hurting me, Sheriff. Unquote. 
She bellows before letting out five consecutive screams. I can't breathe. Why are you touching my legs? She repeatedly demands, prompting the officers to appear to smirk as giggles erupt throughout the cabin amid the cartoonish performance. And that's exactly what it is. It was a performance. This was histrionic performance art. Or so she thought. This is I'm more important than everyone on this plane. And I need all eyes on me. And she repeatedly screams, I can't breathe, a reference to George Floyd's dying words. The flight attendant is heard over the intercom, telling everyone they would need to deplane the aircraft, prompting a loud collective groan. Commenters took to the post to speculate on what could have prompted the outburst. Quote, that's an evil spirit in her possession happening right in front of everyone, one person wrote. How did she get past airport security? Another one asked. This is really sad. I hope she found some help. And it comforted her, wrote another. Well, that's nice that you are so thoughtful, whoever that's, whoever anonymous person said that. Las Vegas cops did not immediately respond to a request for comment on what the woman was arrested for. And the budget airline could not be reached. I'm going to link that New York Post article down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. But I want to say this real quick before I go. See, we found out during the video that she said, that's fine. I've been there before when it came time for them to tell you you're going to jail. Indicating that she's a consistent problem. These histrionics, her just completely being a buffoon. She's talking and complaining that the officer was hurting her arm. Well, my thought process is that wouldn't be a problem if you got up when they told you to and walked off the aircraft calmly and in a, in a civilized manner. Then she invoked the name of St. Floyd. Gotta be careful because of YouTube. Screaming at the top of her lungs that she can't breathe despite there never being any windpipe obstruction of any kind. And look, I get it. I know we live in a digital age and everybody's got a phone in their pocket. It's got a HD camera attached to it. But the fact that people were recording this is what really sent her into overdrive because that was her opportunity to get her five minutes of fame. And I guess it worked because I'm talking about it and whoever else, New the New York Post clear across the country, what, 2,600 miles away, wrote a whole article about it. So yeah, she got what she wanted. But here's the thing, man. She is causing this problem for all these people and they're recording it and it's it's all fun and games as far as she's concerned the issue at hand is that these officers were put into a bad situation because of the optics now obviously any one of those three gentlemen were gigantic and they could have ragdolled her ass on that plane with minimal effort however because cameras are rolling because it's a public relations situation because las vegas is a tourist destination they had to play patty cake with this chick they had to put the kid gloves on, which upsets me because she was causing 150 other people to have their days ruined and their flight plans and their vacations, whatever else was going on with them. Some of these folks had to catch flights to for work. Some of these folks had to catch flights to home. Who knows how many grandparents were on that plane trying to fly to see their grandkid for the first time, having to have that push back because this maniac can't be trusted to sit down and shut the fuck up. See, my issue, fellas, is the cops. And I wasn't there. So I got to be I got to uh, I've got to give an allowance for that. But there were three options available to these police officers to get her off that plane very quickly and quite efficiently. The first wouldn't be the best idea with firearms, because if a bullet breached the fuselage, the plane itself is useless. It'll depressurize once it gets above 20,000 feet and everybody gets sucked out into the ocean. Not good. Two is chemical agents like mace or pepper spray. The only problem with that is in a confined space like an aircraft cabin, you're going to get dozens of people who had nothing to do with it hit with these chemical agents and who knows how that body is going to react with it. So that's out. The third option is a tie between electrostatic, a.k.a. the taser or stun gun or ballistic impact weapons like bean bags or, or rubberized bullets. And these really take the fight out of you. Back in the Navy, we did all kinds of non-lethal deterrent training. Everything from chemical agents to getting hit with bean bags and stun guns. Bro, I tell you what, you can be as mad as you want, but I'm telling you what, they hit you one of those, the fight comes out of you and all you want is the pain to stop. And I'm disappointed that these officers, and I know all of them have one. Three tasers at minimum could have been deployed on this situation, but they chose not to for reasons of their own choosing. Maybe they got protocol in that particular jurisdiction. I don't know. But what I do know is this. This is a great example, fellas. I'm telling you right now, women are children. And this tantrum she threw could only be thrown if you know you have a pussy pass. Now, I can get away with almost anything. Because I tell you what, 
if a six foot one inch tall 230 pound plus man was doing the exact same thing there would have been elbows and knees and everything else they'd have sprayed them down they'd have, they might have unloaded right in his chest at point blank range to prevent the bullet from piercing the fuselage but because she's got a vagina because she's got a cup size these people had to have their days ruined and had to deplane and wait god knows until a new plane could be boarded it's ridiculous I'm going to wrap it up here, fellas, but the moral of the story is if you find yourself in a situation like this, don't record. Help the police and or the air marshals restrain this miscreant, this deviant, because in this post 9-11 era, we can't be 100 percent certain that this distraction is exactly that. And that there are other people on that plane who mean to take it down or hijack it and take it into foreign jurisdiction for political means or I mean, it's just a sale of me talking, who knows? But with that said, that's my time. Like the video? Comment down below. Share with a friend and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Never let your brother suffer in silence when the truth can set him free. Networkers, we working. Until next time.